I'm Roberta Noss, and we're here at Watch Time New York, and we have the good fortune of being with Stephen Forsay, co-founder of Grugel Forsay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's nice to see you again and Great. see you on our side of the pond. Um, so, uh, I think everybody's really familiar with Grugel Forsay, but just mm -hmm. fill us in on a little of the background when the company founded. Okay, so thank you, Roberta. And, um, it's great to be at watch time for, uh, for this event. Uh, Grobel 4C is uh, quite unique, special in the sense that you have two watchmakers, Robert Grobel from France originally, and myself originally from the UK. Met in uh, Switzerland in the early 90s, working in uh, as watchmakers in an uh, independent or larger company. And uh, from 19, uh, in 99, we were thinking about the 21st century, what might we be doing as watchmakers. And we realized that we couldn't always find the level of hand finishing that as watchmakers we always adored and searched for. We also thought that there was perhaps room to innovate and create something, a different style, and to bring a certain reliability, innovative uh, performance to uh, mechanical pieces of probably high complication. Um, and so we started to study the tubio. Took us four and a half years to develop our groundbreaking new generation of double tourbillon 30 degrees, which we showcased 2004. What was unusual was we were able to uh, deliver the, the first watches uh, pretty much straight away within uh, a couple of months. So that gave us a, a nice impact and in terms of uh, visibility. And we've been very fortunate to find collectors who. Uh, who could understand and uh, were enthusiastic to come on board, support our work. And now, so almost 15 years, I guess next spring we'll be celebrating that, yeah. those, that, uh, that uh, milestone point. And uh, in, those, uh, in those years, we've actually developed 22 different calibers. That's amazing. So it's, it's quite an insane calculation because today we can uh, make uh, about 105 or 110 timepieces in total uh, from our workshops in La Chaux de Fonds uh, to then share around the, around the world. Very limited production. So it is, yeah. And very complex. Let's not forget the, all of these well, movements from, and calibers. Are from, from complex, yeah, from quite complex today to uh, quite, uh, also quite simple, but always with that uh, signature level of uh, hand finishing Absolutely. architecture of the movement important to showcase and explain the different mechanisms. Um, yeah, so, so what watch do you have here for us to take a look at? Okay, so we thought um, for watch time here in New York it would be great to share the GMT Earth. Beautiful. So a new uh, caliber for 2018, which we've just, uh, just uh, completed very recently. And um, so we adding to our family, we already have uh, the GMT, which has been in our collection, in fact, for quite a few years now. Right. We launched in the fall of 2011. So uh, a few years in the collection, and that's had a very, very good uh, reception. So what we wanted to do with Robert was see if we could even increase the visibility of the globe even further, and also complete that. So now we have in the GMT Earth, we even have the South Pole. And what's interesting is uh, the whole uh, drive and support of the globe then appears to be mysterious because you can no longer see how it's supported. Right. So we've got the North Pole centered here. Uh, it rotates in real time anti-clockwise in 24 hours. The sun appears to rise then in the east mm -hmm. and set in the west. And we've got daytime towards the outside of the case with the asymmetry and the sapphire window showing right. down below the equator. And nighttime to the center. So we can see here um, that at the moment, in this, uh, in this example, the Americas, we're around uh, uh, the middle of the day, just after lunch. Right. In uh, Europe, we're later into the evening, mm -hmm. and in Asia, it's still uh, the middle of the night. Right. Fascinating. But if we want to see more, we turn over and we've got uh, completed that with 24 major cities, 24 time zones, and the GMT Earth is very easy to set up. Uh, you simply... Uh, program first, you set using the hand setting the time in a major city, using the disc on the movement side, that programs the globe, then you turn over and using the GMT pusher at 10 o'clock, you can block the globe which is programmed, and that way you're using the hand setting, synchronize your local time, 
to, to suit. It's of course, it's got a, a good motor, so we've got the 24 second, 25 degree inclined tourbillon, our third invention here, fast rotation, performance, simplicity, and uh, 72 hour power reserve, white How gold. How many parts are inside this movement? So the GMT Earth is uh, 530 parts, you know, more than, uh, more than 530 components. And uh, a timepiece like this will take us almost a year of man hours to build it's each cool. individual one. And you can see a rather beautiful, uh, complex, high dome sapphire crystal bezel. Right. So the bezel itself has disappeared and uh, we've been able to, yeah, to nice fashion this. Yeah, so really opening it up mm -hmm. and giving a, a rather beautiful visibility. It's spectacular. Of so 33 pieces in the edition, white gold uh, with this to introduce this uh, caliber adding to our GMT family. Wonderful. So. It's beautiful. It, like everything you do, it's a masterpiece of craftsmanship and technology. Well, so. we, we try to, um, you know, to bring uh, always push further in terms of this hand finishing, which is, uh, as we know, is uh, something of a dying art. Right. Um, and so we're trying to uh, trying to practice that, and we we see that people are still uh, more and more interested in uh, in authenticity, craftsmanship, right. and cultural side of watchmaking, which is uh, important to share and and I think celebrate. You know, the skill of the, from the mind to the hand, uh, what we call the intelligence of the hand. And uh, so at watch time here, we've been really excited to see uh, a lot of young people coming and really interested to discover uh, and Great. to well, see. We're glad that you're here. So thank you very thank much. You. Thank